coming to you again with one of my little offerings videos. Um, today, I want to talk about the fine art of discernment. Oh man, this is something really lacking these days. Uh, I see it everywhere, especially on places like Facebook, um, where people just repeat things without actually thinking about what they mean or even understanding what they really mean. Um, so this is discernment. This is foremost um, critical thinking. Thinking with uh, an analytical mind. Uh, asking questions. Always ask questions. The more questions we ask, the clearer things will become. Um, and we have to ask questions. We just have to. There's so much garbage out there um, being spewed uh, that we need to have a critical mind um, to really navigate our way in this modern information world um, or disinformation world, if you will, because most of the information we come across is really disinformation. It's information with um, an agenda, you know, a reason someone's communicating this or that that is separate from what is being communicated. And these are the things we need to see, especially as budding magicians. We need to apply critical thinking at every juncture of our progress, you know, because this can all very easily turn into self-delusion. And the guard that we have against that is critical thinking and discernment. Now, I describe discernment as really perceiving the objective reality of anything, person, place, idea, or circumstance. Not taking things at face value. Looking deeper than the surface is the absolute requirement of discernment. Now, discernment can be achieved through critical thinking, which is an analytical approach to things, and asking questions not being satisfied with surface answers, but looking more deeply into what is in front of us and what are the consequences of things that are presented to us, okay? Now, th critical thinking is a learned uh, habit, a uh, learned talent. Unfortunately, our education systems don't teach critical thinking. They teach us to accept things as fact and not question the facts. We have to. We need to. We should. <laughs> um, it is our right, you know, it is our uh, innate human ability to question what is presented to us. Um, the alternative to critical thinking is the direct perception of essential meaning. Now, I've covered this before and multiple ways and multiple places. Most recent was um, one of my, um, I think it was the second of my uh, videos on my little book, uh, Love Letter to a Dying World, in which I explained a little, a very simple little experiment, a little way to train yourself, to introduce yourself to the concept of essential meaning, placing five different objects in front of you and looking at each one in turn and feeling the difference between them. This subtle communication that happens in an instant through a visual sense very easily. This is the essential meaning communicated by forms. Um, and we can see and at the same time receive information that is not verbal and that passes to us in an instant before we even begin thinking about the thing the information we receive this is the direct perception of essential meaning 
And in that video, I, I talk about different ways of training that sense. It's fairly easy to train that sense. It, we all use that sense uh, constantly. We are constantly perceiving essential meaning. We can't help but perceive essential meaning. But it is mostly subconscious or even unconscious, our perception of it. We don't recognize it. We don't take the second, the moment, to really realize what we are perceiving. So these exercises make that a conscious ability. You know, when I want to see a thing's essential meaning, I can, at any moment, perceive, directly perceive the essential meaning. And that applies to things that I see, to people that I meet, to things someone is telling me. Oh, yeah, that, that has, it has a form. It has an essential meaning in communication. And in that essential meaning, I can see why a person is saying something to me, trying to communicate something to me, how they are communicating it, what, what really they are communicating. Um, so it gets down to the essence. So this works with people, with ideas, um, with circumstances, with my environment. I can look at the essential meaning of the entire environment as opposed to little parts of the environment. Um, a circumstance that I find myself in, I can look at the essential meaning and that way come to a deeper understanding of it. And an honest understanding. This is the thing we need to, in perceiving, this is all about perception. Perception is subjective. We are subjectively perceiving an objective universe. Uh, so, we have to understand the ways in which we subjectify our perception of the objective universe. Because otherwise we live in this subjective universe which isn't really real and we never see the objective universe. We never know what's truly going on because it's just about what we feel about what's going on or think about what's going on instead of what's truly going on. And the same when we read something. We have all these subjective preconceptions and misconceptions and opinions that we bring to things that are spoken to us or that we read and very seldom do we get down to the essence of what we hear and what we read. And we must, we must, um, because it's the only way we can tell when someone's feeding us just a line of shit, you know. It may sound real pretty and be sort of feasible, but we've got to think about it. We've really got to analyze what is being said and why, why it's being said. Because so much, so much is absolute trash is said that has no fundamental importance, but it is said by maybe people we respect. It is said by people we are told to respect. Um, it is said by people who have all kinds of motivations for saying a thing. Now, are they saying it just because it's a truth that they have experienced and truly know, you know, what they are saying? Is it something they have thought about the consequences of saying to other people? That's a big one. You know, what are the consequences when we say something to someone else. Yeah, we've got to use our discernment to understand these things that are being communicated to us. And 
the exercises to do so are very easy. Um, if you watch that video, the second video in Love Letter to a Dying World, um, I present a series of exercises in perceiving, directly perceiving essential meaning. And basically it follows a, a, a Bardonian uh, sequence. You know, you start with things, inanimate objects. Then you move on to plants. Then you move on to insects and animals. Then you move on to human beings. And in this case, then you move on to ideas. Working with ideas and perceiving the essential meaning of any idea that's presented to you. And combine that with critical thinking when you're questioning the idea, the consequences of the idea, the motivation behind the idea, etc. Oh, that's discernment. So, you progress through ideas and then to circumstances or environments, which is another beast entirely, because um, it's a, uh, an interplay of things and ideas and happenings. Um, so, this is very easy to train very simple to train. It requires that you quiet the mind. You want to turn off your thinking, uh, your opining, uh, your judging, and just perceive. And it's just a split-second perception in which you receive a, basically an infinite amount of information. And then you think about it. You let that perception take form in thoughts and words and concepts and etc. And that then informs your thinking and that is discernment. We're informing our thinking through discernment and it will come as a knowing or an intuition where, you know, there's just suddenly this knowledge that things are this way. Um, and that is an important, an important aspect of perception, is the knowing that arises from true perception, not thinking about it, or opining, or, you know, how do you feel about it? It's the true perception of an objective reality manifests itself as a knowing, a certainty, and intuition, okay? And we've got to apply this discernment not just things that we perceive from the outside, but the things we perceive internally as well. We've got to be critical and judgmental in our thinking about all these internal revelations and discoveries. Uh, you know, when we go on a, an internal journey that uh, reveals just amazing things, We've got to apply critical thinking to the, those kind of results, too. Because those are the things that result in self-delusion. And we can't have that. We just can't have that in a magical training. We have to avoid, strongly avoid, self-delusion. And that requires honesty and critical thinking and, you know, perception of the direct perception of essential meaning in those moments of those heightened experiences that take us, whoa, off into you know, the nether regions, we've got to apply this direct perception of their essential meaning because that reveals to us what is real in all that lovely dovey, you know, la la stuff. Because there is some real in there, 
even if it is mostly self-delusion. It tells us something about ourself, if nothing else. So, this is vital, vital in a magical training, <laughs> absolutely essential, and really should be part of the curriculum, you know? Discernment, yeah, you ha have to develop this sense. So, that's me ranting about discernment. I hope you uh, enjoyed that in some way. Till next time, bye-bye.